guys, this is Trouble Lobster coming at you with a review of the UNSC Mongoose. Um, I actually just unboxed this. I might have a video on that too, it's my last uploaded one. But, the price for this is $10, and you get a lot. And I mean a lot for $10. I, it's a good deal. I recommend buying it, and I know everyone's like, Ah, oh, Mega Bloks, it burns my eyes. Me too. It's just, I like Halo. So, um, it's a pretty cool thing to collect and have. Um, two more of the t other two that I ordered are coming tomorrow. And, um, I won't tell you what those are, but I might have given them away already. I'm not sure. Anyways, here's the manual. Very small manual, actually. Very small. Um, thank you for buying this set. Let's see what ones I have. Well, I don't have many of them. I only have the sorry about the glare, the pelican, and the mongoose. I don't have the goshawk surprisingly. I have that turret. I have the chopper. I have that turret. I have the wolverine, but not arctic. And I want to get this arctic rocket hog with the ghost. But it's only in, uh, it's only uh, well nine, ten, eleven, eleven pages long. It's really easy to build. Took me like five minutes, and it has all that stuff. Okay, the box. The box. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, I have to move. Uh, it, I said this before, but now instead of Halo Wars, it's just Halo. You've got the cool animation there. Set number three. You want to see mongoose? Ages eight, eight and up. Well, sorry. Uh, 77 pieces, uh, set 96849, and, uh, comes with all that, and there's a Spartan, and all that stuff on top. Uh, right here it says, these quick, ad these quick, agile, all-terrain vehicles are a useful tool for both battlefield reconnaissance and rapid assault maneuvers. That's what that says. And, uh, then you have all this stuff explaining it, uh, Covenant Elite, UNSC Spartan, the blueprints. See, I already have the chopper. I don't really want to buy the Arctic Wolverine because I already have one. I mean, I may buy it for my uh, replica, but I don't know. I, I don't really know. But I am going to get that rocket hog with the ghost. I, I need that. I need a, another warthog. So anyways, that's the box. Um, You may be wondering why this is, there's a brick. It comes with this brick. So it's kind of like a sniper position for the Spartan, and it shows that right here. You can see. So uh, that's what this brick is for, just FYI. So we move that out of the way. On to the minifigures. The Spartan. Uh, these come in every set imaginable, but I think he's a darker tone of green. I'm not really sure, but I think it's a darker tone of green. I'm not gonna go over him, because he comes in every set. What I really like is the weapon. This is my first sniper rifle. They only come in a few sets, but they're really nice with this bipod. And the bipod folds up too. Um, it's regular gray, it doesn't have the detail like it does in the weapons or special packs that they have. But let me give you one last view of this, if I can get it right. There we go. That's what it looks like. Very nice, and they always have these little pegs to put them in the little back hole things. Uh, next is the Covenant Elite. I'm not gonna go over him. He's the same everywhere. But what I really like, probably coolest, one of the coolest weapons, is this energy sword. It is really cool. I know it comes in the other sets like the rocket hog thing. But it's my first one. It's really cool. It's, uh, they make it look clear in the center. But as you can see, it's not very clear. But, it still looks pretty cool. I like it. I like this. It's very nice. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. Let's start off with the UNSC first. Um, pretty big. This is my hand. Pretty big. It rolls really well. Um, my only problem with this set is that there's a lot of stickers. As you can see, all over the place. And those little ones right there on the turret get annoying but um anyways 
So this is the mongoose. It rolls really well. These tires are act actually are rubber. They kind of captured it really well. It, it looks like a mongoose. And uh, it has this windshield right here. Kind of see through. But um, this is the bottom of it. They kind of just do some pieces and attach to each other. Ah, uh, they have this brace thing like they, like the regular mongoose does. I'm not sure if that's a new piece, cause I'm not that familiar with Mega Bloks. But you get all this stuff, perfect for the guy to sit in. Really easy. Let me actually see if I can set him in there with one hand. Okay, let's clip his hand in and clip this other hand in. Okay, this one got unclipped. It's difficult to do this with one hand. But, um, anyways, that's not exactly how he sits. But his feet go on these, and you can crouch him and everything. But if you want him to stand up like he's trying to look at something, that's what he looks like. He stays on really well. Doesn't fall off, no matter what you do. So, it's the mongoose. I really like it. I think it's pretty cool. Move that over there. Turret is also really cool. I like it better than the one that came in the other set. The uh, Aerial Ambush. I like it better. I like. I mean, I, I like this turret better than the one in the Aerial Ambush. Comes with these two shield wind visor things. I don't really know exactly what they are. But it's it's cool. It has all these stickers. Like there's one right there. There's one right there. These ones around the bottom. They're annoying to do. I don't like to having to do that. But um. It moves like that. You can move it all the way. And it's hinged, so you can move it back or forward by this little hinge. Also stickers on that side and that side. So that looks cool. It's a little hard to get the Elite to grab on. Like, um, it's hard to get in the sit and grab at the same time. Hold on, let me set my camera down so I can show you exactly what I mean. He, it's not very I don't want to say it's I'm not sure I don't want to say it wasn't designed well but maybe it's just me I just maybe I just am dumb and I can't get him to sit right but um he almost has to stand up see what I mean he can't really sit down that well because of the design of the turret because the handles up really high so that's my only real complaint about this set. It's my, it's a big complaint actually for me. I'm very picky with my quality of Mega Bloks or Legos. So uh, yeah, it does move 360 though. That's cool. I like that. Just looks goofy when he sits down. I do not like that. But all in all, I give this, even though it isn't Legos, I give it eight out of ten bricks on the Trouble Lobster scale. But, um, I will add this to my battle diorama. I have a video on that. I've just put up another update yesterday. Uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.